All righty, everybody. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I am super excited and super honored to have Scott from the Game Caddy joining me with my good friend Dave from Dave's Gaming Cave. We're actually going to be playing some app of golf together and we're going to be using the Game Caddy and we're going to have a huge, this is part of a, a, a massive tournament that you are running and, and you needed some volunteers to help you at the end and you were kind enough to let us do it and I appreciate that so much. No, oh, thanks for your, your willingness to go along for this ride. You know, this is this has been a, uh, a journey that began July 7th, 2020. Uh, wow. And it all oh comes to uh, its conclusion, uh, not tonight, but tomorrow night, because we're just going to play the front nine tonight. But, wow, so, uh, that is some dedication there. So yeah. you were going through and you were playing this course and you went through every, how many golfers? 70? Well, no. It, so it, it, the original, back in 2020 when I started this, if you wanted to play with the all-time great set, right, there was 144 golfers that were in that set. Okay. Now, they last year they added you know, some additional golfers to that, and I didn't try to fold them into the tournament because it was too far along. Oh, slacker. slacker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm always accused of being lazy. Uh, uh, so anyway, it started with 144 all-time great uh, APA golfers, right, and I went and played them for the uh, first two rounds, and then I did a cut. Uh, and then at, um, I, I cut it in such a way that uh, I kept the top 69 golfers and then played round three. And now I've played 66 of the 69 uh, golfers uh, in round four. Wow, wow. That's a lot, it's a lot of golf. It's that's, a lot that's, of golf. That's, that, but that is, that is like, um, as a sports simmer, we always have these great projects we think in our head. And it's like, man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be epic, and it's gonna be right. this, and it's gonna be two hundred thousand games, and this, <laughs> and 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 we get like a quarter of the way through, and we say, "Pah, I no way, <laughs> yeah. auto play." <laughs> no. Well, I, I'm nothing if not stubborn. Uh, so I guess I, 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 guess. I will persist I am, through all kinds of adversity. To get, I am to get the uh, wow. I, I feel the honor. So I'm gonna be playing uh, Nick Price for those of you who know. Uh, and I'm shooting, How? what am I starting our final round at? Uh, that's a good question. I'm doing this off the top of my head. I think you're you're 12 under. I think 12, 12 under par. Okay, 12 under par. And you're going to, uh, and Dave, who are you playing today? I've got Arnold Palmer. Whoa. And Palmer's 10 under. Yep. 10 under. Okay. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, yeah. And I let these guys pick first, right? Who they wanted, and so yeah. I, you know, I, I don't want everybody to think that I, you know, tried to uh, tilt this in my favor. Um, but you know, through some sleight of hand, I managed to get them to let me uh, take uh, Jack Nicholas. So I, I, I'm the golden bear here. Uh, wow! Well, and, yeah, and, and he's yeah. 15 under at this point. So. Well, there, there was no way I was taking Nicholas and have Jester go. Oh yeah, you took the best call. <laughs> Um, uh, you know, you've posted, have you posted some of this on your, your, um, channel, your uh, game canny? No. Yep. So, okay. So, so, you know, there's the two channels, right? Realistically, there's three, but, but for all intents and purposes, there's two. There's the game caddy channel, which is just tutorials on how to do certain things, um, when using the game caddy. And then there's the game caddy play channel where I've kind of adopted, um, your style. Uh, thanks for letting me, you know, rip you off there. And uh, I just play the game, right? And okay. but uh, I, I purposely did not um, use these players or this course because I knew that this was coming up, and I, you know, didn't want to have a, a duplicated right. effort here. Right, right. I understand. Well, that is awesome. So, um, and I know we want to get started because I don't want to be too pressed for time and everything. And but I do have one question. Um, just off the top of your head, it, you had that cut, right? Was there any like real big surprises? Like you thought, wow, this guy, how can this guy not make the cut? And he, and. Yeah, y y yes, there were. Uh, Ernie Els didn't make the cut. Sam Snead didn't make the cut. Wow, so yeah. I mean, you're playing, you know, two rounds, so anything can happen, uh, particularly with the two courses that I was using. And, you know, the first one was played under blustery conditions at uh, Harbor Town, which is Yacht Club. Uh, that's Apple's version of it. And so a lot of guys scored poorly uh, that, that first round that you might have expected uh, to have you know, made it 
to Sunday. But, right, but right, right. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Hey, Tim, how you doing? Good to see you. So we are live. That's good to see. All righty. Excellent. Well, uh, let's go ahead. Um, so we're going to be playing Los Angeles today, and I'm going to. You guys are going to miss me because I'm going to bring us down to the actual course, and I'm going to show you guys where we're at, and then. Scott's going to be running the game caddy on his screen, and we're going to kind of be alternating back and forth so you guys can see what's going on. And then Dave's going to just uh, hang probably out. hang out and uh, <laughs> look um, right. keep us keep us all squared away, I guess. Uh, shouldn't um, shouldn't Scott be wearing a Buckeye shirt? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, here we go, Los Angeles. We're starting off with the par five right off the bat. All right, so remind me how I share the screen here, yes, sir. Uh, so down at the bottom, yeah, you'll see where it says presets. You click on presets, and it's going to bring up a little menu, yeah. and then you're going to click on share screen, and it'll pop up on your side, but it won't officially shift square, uh, switch screens until I accept it, because it, you know. Right. Slash Deep Gaming, how's it going, my friend? Good to see you. All right, there it comes. And right. we can just add that in there like that. And so what I'll do is um, I will just switch back and forth between, uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? Um, there we go. Maybe, no, that's not going to work. I'm just looking for the best. Hmm. Out. All right, I'll work on that. We'll work on that later. That's okay. All right. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I, I was looking to see if I could see the chat uh, while we're doing this, but it doesn't appear that I can the way that I got it set up on my end. So if, um, if anything I, comes I, up, I will just post it on our screen and you'll be able to see it. Yeah. It is version 5.2.2 from Matt Rockwood. Yeah, and, and actually, I, I could see that. Uh, I can When they pop up in little balloon form, I can see those comments. Okay, yeah, so it, it does. And you'll notice that it's the beta version. And, and um, without, again, spending a lot of time talking about this, uh, the, 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 what, the, the version, the latest version that's been publicly released is 5.2.1. Um, and it works great, except... In, uh, some circumstances, certain uh, graphics weren't showing up, like the dice roller button, and uh, it was not everything was always clearing out uh, after you use certain features of the tool. Uh, I never had the problem myself. Other people did and reported it to me. So 5.2.2 is an effort to address those things. And um, taking a little bit of a chance tonight, uh, debuting it uh, here. Um, because I'm the only one, I'm the only one who's ever uh, used this uh, version of the caddy, but I'm the only one using it tonight, so I, I think it'll go okay. Yeah, I think I think we'll be we'll be okay. Tim, I am playing Nick Price. Dave is playing um, Arnold Palmer. Arnold Palmer, and of course Scott is playing uh, Nicholas, who's got a three shot lead. So you know that's how that that works. And uh, I'm looking at this, and I'm realizing that um, for some reason the course isn't up here. So let me go ahead and import that. I thought I had done it, but maybe I didn't for my own. I did it for other people. Here we did go. it for the one you sent me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I probably forgot to do it for myself. I want to make sure the course conditions are correct. Yeah, pin number four, calm day uh, wind, uh, normal course conditions. We're at Los Angeles, which is Riviera, round four. And I want to make sure that I've got all you guys in your caddies. Nicholas okay, um, Price and Palmer. Yep, we're good to go. Oh, and you know what? Let me do this. This is the tournament tracker that sometimes people don't know about or don't use. So as we play through this tonight, um, we'll have the standings of how we're doing overall in this column right here. So this is what uh, the players are entering this round. Yeah. 
Why don't you, um, because we'll probably have some people popping in that aren't familiar. Why don't you just give like a 30 second overview on what the Game Caddy is and what it does? Yeah, so the Game Caddy is an Excel spreadsheet utility to help you uh, play the Apple Golf Master Game, which is a great game, but it's uh, fairly complicated in terms of uh, you have lie rolls, you have wind rolls, there's a lot going on uh, in the game, and there's it's only arithmetic, but there's a lot of math to keep track of. And so the spread, uh, the, the game caddy spreadsheet uh, keeps track of uh, almost all of that for you. You have to enter in a few things, like you have to tell the game caddy what your terrain is, because it can't, the, the, the boards aren't digitized, the, the golf courses aren't digitized in the game caddy. So we have to enter the information so it knows where, if the shot landed on the fairway or in the rough, you know, things like that. But in terms of um, figuring out where the shots go and, you know, how much you've worked the ball and, you know, whether the ball ends up in the hole or not, the game caddy will figure out almost all that stuff for you. So it makes playing the game faster, uh, less mentally taxing, and it allows you to play it in a much more strategic fashion because your brain isn't worn out. Absolutely. That's for sure. We got uh, quite a few um, Apple Golf on my channel. If you want to check it out, I've been using the Game Caddy for the last year. I think it's been over a year that me and Scott have been together. Yeah, so, well over a year. Yep. Yeah, well over a year. So um, you can check out the Game Caddy on YouTube. It even has a um, a new Game Caddy channel where it'll actually play through a round with golfers and uh, just uh, experience the Game Caddy that way as well. And it's a great learning tool. Because you never know what you're going to run into until you run into it. Yeah. 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 And, and I, I do think uh, it can help you learn the Apple Golf uh, Master Game uh, as long as, you know, you've made the effort to at least read through the rules uh, that come with the game and uh, you understand the terminology that's involved. It makes playing, to me, it makes playing Apple Golf so much better. So much easier, so much yep. faster. Well, it takes you. all the math out of it, and it makes it just where you have to concentrate on actually taking your shots. All right. All righty. So we are on a uh, par five. It's uh, 503 yards straight as an arrow shot from the tee. Straight down, we're probably going to land it somewhere in there. Second shot is either going to lay it up a little bit short or go in for the green. Our pin position is what? Four. Uh, four. four. Okay, four is going to be in the back, just off the center line there to the, uh, that would be the east. There we go. So, Scott, to... we, we still need to enter our clubs, right? Uh, yes, you need to pick your clubs, um, and, as do I. And uh, the, other, the other thing I want to uh, mention is what's unique about this tournament is that I played a different course for each round. So first round was Yatch Club, second round was Badger Links, third round was Gopher Lakes, and fourth round is uh, Los Angeles uh, here. Um, so it's not been, you know, playing the same course, you know, over and over and over again for each, each round. Oh I, oh, I did not know that. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, what I guess what I meant was we need to enter our three clubs that we got to pick for our golfer, right? That, that's right. Do you want to tell me what those are, and I can do that for you? Yeah, I want the uh, four wood, the um, the um, shoot, the one after the five wood in between the, the five. The hybrid. Yes, the hybrid. Thank you, and the uh, three iron. All righty. How about you, Jester? I'm going to go with, uh, let's go with two iron. Um, I'm going to go with five wood and three wood. All right. Now, let's see. I may have picked my clubs. I can't remember. I did. I went with the four wood, two iron, and three iron. Oh, we all chose different ones now. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I can load the hole whenever you're ready. I am ready. All right. So we're going to be playing under the standard wind conditions here, which means that the game caddy is going to be handling all the wind and all the lie rolls for us. 
uh, we, we won't uh, do any of those. All right, nice. so I'm going to transfer the first hole. And, and Nicholas will be up first since he's leading at 15 under. Uh, for this hole, we don't have any wind. So perfectly calm for hole number one. Th by the way, this has been the easiest hole, uh, uh, I think, for the whole tournament, but certainly for Los Angeles. Um, it's playing, it's a par five. It's a really short par five. It's playing at 0.86 strokes under par. Wow. Wow. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to hit a driver, uh, not aiming or anything. I'm going to use the built-in Game Caddy dice roller, 46, and uh, Nicholas hammers it. In fact, hopefully he didn't put it up there in the deep rough there. I uh, wasn't expecting to hit it quite that far. So this goes uh, carry, and, and I, Jester, I know you're going to be uh, working the, 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 the course boards themselves. It goes 285, right 20. 285, right 20. Oh, that's fairway. Yep, and then it gets up to 40 rolls. So I got to count this out to see if we get all that. 10, 20, 30, yes. 40, yep, we, get, we, will. Get, we get the full roll because uh, it's going to go to the um, 325 yard mark, but I'm going to be in the rough, I think, aren't I? Uh, intermediate rough looks like to me. All right, you're, you're, you're the court's official, so I'll take whatever you tell me. Yeah, uh, yeah I, th I think it's... Um... You ended up at 325 right 20, right? Yes. Yeah, that is, looks to me like it's intermediate rough. All right. Just just rolled just a little bit too long there, big hitter. Okay. <laughs> um, and so Nick Price will be up next. Uh, that's me. All right. I'm going to roll my own dice because I don't trust you. <laughs> Smart man. Oh, 66 right off the bat. Are you kidding me? That is a wood. That is a two. All right. And your shot goes 280 right 15 on the carry. Right 15, 5, 10, 15. All right. That is fairway. And you get 30 fairway roll. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yep. That's uh, all fairway to me. So 310 right 15. Yep, perfect. Nice shot. Way to go. All right. Dave, you got a lot to live up to, man. We were, we were putting the pressure on you right off the yeah. spot. Okay, Arnie. Yeah, we'll use the driver. You, All right. can, you can roll. All right. Oh, <laughs> you may change your mind, and you're uh, welcome to do so. 54. It's a 13. All right, this goes 260 left 30 on the fly. 250, 260 left 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. He's in the rough out there. So that'll be a 15 roll. 5, 10, 15 roll. All righty. He'll be in the rough. Yeah. And you're probably going to be up again here. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right. Yep. Uh, okay. Um, so you're up, and the carry objective is 250. Uh, hopefully you can see it up, up, right up there. Can you see that? Yeah, I see it. Okay. So uh, my uh, my wood's a four, and what's that four wood? Is that a 230? Looks like maybe. Or wood is 440. No, no, it's two thirty right here. Two thirty, yeah. I'm just—it's well, a little small. That's all. I was four? At. Yeah. I'm gonna lay from, up from, off from the, the from the rough. Yes. Yeah, oh, from I'm the rough. Gonna, oh, I get you. Okay, sorry. Yeah. No, uh, I'm one, gonna lay up. One, Dave, one other thing. Up. One other thing I want to point out as you're planning your shot, you'll notice yep. the, your your rough lie here that the game caddy did for you. That you're going to lose five on the carry, which which this takes into account. The 250 right. takes that into account, and you're going to get five extra green roll. Obviously, if you land on the green, yeah. and you've got a ball that's above your feet, and uh, the app game assumes that every every uh, hitter uh, hits right-handed. So a ball that's above your feet is going to go naturally a little to the left. Um, not always, but it's going to have it's, it's going to tend to go to the left. Tend to go left. Yep. What I'm going to do is lay up on this because I'm not going to get to the green anyway. Okay. 
So I'm going to use my I'm going to use my uh, three iron. Okay. You can roll. And 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 you're not aiming, right? You're just going to right. straight. Okay. Okay. A, a twenty-three. The sixteen. In the W column, right? I just want to make sure. No, I'm shooting. I'm shooting with my. Uh, yeah. Three iron, three iron. Would be yeah, zero. Still four iron, yeah, yeah. yeah. four iron, three iron, and two iron or W. Okay, thirty-five then. Glad you said that. Okay, click ten shot. All right, so it, it carried four sixty right ten. Oh boy. In the rough, right? Yep, yep. And oh, and you're going to get well. Let's see, uh, you're in the rough, so you're going to get ten roll, unless you uh, roll into that bunker. But I don't think you do. No, he's going to oh, miss, miss the bunker. bunker. Yeah. yeah, so you get ten roll. Yep. But I'll be that's in. That's not rough. bad. That's a good recovery, Dave. Wow, that's really good. Four seventy right ten regular rough. Yep. So you'll be forty yards away. Yep. Good recovery, Dave. Okay, Nick, you're up. All right, me up. What do we got? I'm gonna hit iron five. Your carry objective is 205. Uh, let's see, I hit my woods of four. Mm. Well, let's um, carry objective is how much? 205? Well, yes. Can I hit a knockdown two iron? No. Um, no okay. uh, five iron is the most club you can use for most a knockdown. You can do. Okay, that's, yeah, I will, hmm. I'm going to go short. I'm going to hit a, I'm going to hit a four iron. I'm going to hit a four iron. And I roll a 15 with a wood is a four, which is my um, my average W. Mm -hmm. Nice. So you I'm want to take use it? Yes, I will use it. Okay. So that will reduce it, the, the, the right left movement five yards. So you, you ended up 500 on the center line in terms of your where the ball landed. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's almost right in the middle. And, and then, then you're going to get 10 green roll. So you're one straight away by my yep. count. You yep. confirm that's that? Perfect. Yes, sir. That's that's that's, that's almost nice like play. I know what I'm doing. Almost. Well, well, well played. So you're eight feet away. Nice. All right. Yay. Good job. Now, the crowd goes wild. Woo. <laughs> so, you get, so you have a chance of eagling this hole. That, that's what I'm saying. This is a, um, you know, one of the easiest holes. Okay, so I'm in the intermediate rough. I'm not affected at all um, because of that. Um, I got a carry objective of 190. Uh, I'm going to hit a five iron. Roll the dice is a 61, is a four. Um, that is his average eye, but I'm not going to take it because I want to go five right uh, on this hole. And that's going to put me at 505, right five. And then it's going to roll another five yards. So I'm on the pin. Five, ten, right, five. Let's do the calc. Four feet away. So um, uh, Jack apparently uh, didn't want to be outdone by Nick Price. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, you know, I shouldn't have taken my average W, should I have? No. Because that uh, would have. Yeah, I'm not going to yeah. second guess you. Yeah, I know that. I know that. I'm just that's uh that's where experience comes into play. But that was a good shot, my friend. Good shot. All right. Okay. Arnie, you're up again. Yeah, I'm on the approach shot for the twenty five yeah. forty five. And you're and you're short sighted, so that means you gotta whatever your target is has to be on the center line. And right. that pit, that pin is at five ten, right five, and so your the, the default target is at five ten. Okay. And you can you can leave it there or you can move it. It's up to you. No, I'm going to leave it there. All right. So we'll select 
that approach board. Yep. Uh, 43 is the roll, and I'm betting that's an 11 or, or something like that. Let's see. That's a five. Oh, a five. Oh, good. All right. And so your ball. Okay, so so you're approaching from the south. So this means that uh, you're actually going to land at uh, 505, and then you have the choice of going right or left. You'll obviously go right, uh, yeah. and that'll put you one straight away. Okay. Yeah. And you are now, for a birdie opportunity, 12 feet out. Okay. And you're up. Yep. And I'm going for it. The, not, not playing it safe. Okay. And you want me to roll for your putts, too? Yep. All right. Let's do it. 66. I'll bet that's in. That's a one. Wow. In. Unbelievable. Nice, nice one, Dave. Nice one. Beautiful. Right. Nick, you're up. All right, I will uh, go for it. I'm what, eight feet? Yep. All right, let's do this party nonsense. Here we go. Eagle opportunity. 13 is a 25. That's not going to do it, I bet. 25 from eight feet is misses by two. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, you want you, just go ahead and put out. That might go a little 32 faster. is a 23. And that's in. Up You're in now. All that for a birdie, I tell yeah. you. Hey, that's all right. So four feet for for Jack. Fifty-two is a twenty-one. That's in up to twenty-six. All right. So after one hole, we've got um, Jack at two under, Nick at one under, and Arnie at one under. Right. And having some fun. All right. So this is good. Move on to hole number two. I'll go ahead and let you do your thing. Uh, let's just show everybody what we have here. We have a par four, 463 yard, just a slight dog leg to the right. This green can be excessive, excessed on a wonderful second shot, but you are surrounded by bunkers in front of the green. Watch for the trees on the left and the right. Do, 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 do. How do you think of that? Is that good? All right. I, for a minute there, I thought I was watching CBS. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So on this hole, uh, uh, it's a par four, and the pin placement is at 450 right five, which is the front of the green. Uh, we've got wind of five carry. So every every shot, um, at least until we get within 50 yards, we'll, we'll carry an additional five yards. Okay. All right? Yep. And uh, Arnie, or excuse me, uh, Jack is going to be up first here. And the question is, do I want to hit a driver and possibly end up in that bunker up there on the right or the rough? Yeah, we'll, we'll hit a driver. Uh, I could, of course, take a momentum point um, because you got a, uh, an eagle or, you know, birdie or eagle. Uh, I'm not going to do that. We'll just take our chances here. 25 is a two. So I'm probably going to at least be in rough. We'll, we'll, let's see how that goes. No, All I right. think it'll be fine. 285, right 15. 285, right 15. That's going to be fairway. And then I get 30 roll. And once that puts me in the bunker. I think I 20, stopped just short of that bunker. 25, yeah. He's going to <laughs> uh, I am in the rough. Yeah, you're going to be in the rough, just in front of that bunker. <laughs> All right, so 315, right 15, and I'm in the regular rough. Nice drive, though. Nice long one. Nick, you're going to be up next. All right, I will drive right. Um, we have no wind. Is that uh, correct? No, you got the five carry. Oh, five carry. Okay. Uh, let me. Oops, I forgot to switch this back. There we go. All right, I will. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go normal. Grip it and rip it. Here we go. Thirty-four. That does not sound good. That is a twelve. Oh. Okay, so you carried to 270, right 35. Woo. 270, right 35, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Boom. Hit that tree edge right there. Yeah, you're, you're under a tree. Yeah. Okay. So you're not, you're not going to get any roll? Yes, and sir. We'll put your line as under a tree. All righty. Okay, Arnie. 
All right, I'm going to hit my driver, and because I birdied the last hole, I want to use one of my momentums. All right. You want to take your average W? Yes. All right, so that's a four. It's a four. And we'll reduce that five yards. Take the shot. 270 right 10 with 25 roll. A 295 right 10. 295 yeah. right 10. That's fairway perfect, right at the little cutout yeah. there. Yep, yeah, you're in the fairway. All right. Looks good so there. That, I think it's going to be back to you here. And let me tell you what you know. You have the option of playing it safe back to the center line, or you can play a, a aggressive. And because you're under a tree, the maximum club you'll be able to use is a five iron. All right. I will, um, I'm going to play it aggressive. Okay. You're 190 out. 190. And, 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 and just because of the, the, the rule, you, you can't aim on this. You could work the ball, but you can't aim. Four. All right, I'm going to take a forward, a uh, four iron again. I'm sorry, four you, iron. You don't have that available. The maximum club oh. you can use is a five iron. I will take a five iron then. Okay. Yeah, it is correct. You just said that, and I would have paid attention to okay. you. You're, you're, you're doing a lot of stuff there, so. All okay. right, come on, Nick. One more good one. You had a good one last time. Let's see if we can do it again. Here we go. That is a 25. And that is a iron, that is a five, which is my average W. Um, and and that, that shot will go to the uh, right. Yeah. Mm. I will take my average W, re uh, reduce it, yeah. Yeah, whoops, I didn't put a number in, that's why that happened. Okay, let me put the number in, five. And, and of course, it'll be your average eye because you're using an iron. So we'll reduce it five and let's see what happens. All right, oh, so yeah. the trees themselves uh, push the ball 10 to the left. So the shot lands at 435 left five. 435 left five? Yeah, you're, you're right in the fairway. Oh, it's right in the fairway, yeah. And then you get 10 fairway roll. So you're, on the, you're actually on the green. Ooh, look at that. You're going to be so I'm a straight. diagonal on a straightaway? Yeah, there you go. All right, well, that's a recovery. And so you'll have a 31-foot putt for a potential birdie. All right. That's a good recovery. Good job. Yeah, that was that was great. All right. Now, Jack, let's see what Jack's going to do. He is in the rough, but we don't have any line. Uh, Matt is asking a good question. No, I'm sorry. Do My we, bad. I'm sorry. Did yeah. we have the remaining roll when it entered the rough? I'm wondering, which shot are you talking about, Matt? It wouldn't have been Dave's because Dave is in the fairway. It would have been Scott's when he rolled off the fairway into the rough. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Matt asked a good question, and I make a, a, a little cheat here just to speed things up when I play. Um, so um, if the ball lands in the rough, then I have the roll. But if the ball rolls into the rough, I don't bother to have the roll. Now, I'm not playing uh, strictly by the uh, APA master game rules when I do that, um, but I've been in situations where the balls kind of hit the fairway, rolled into the rough, and it's rolled back into the fairway, and all those adjustments it make so little difference uh, in the grand scheme of things that I've just gotten in the habit of uh, ignoring it and just taking it wh wherever it lands. Now, of course, if it rolls into a sand trap, or it rolls into the water, or it rolls into deep rough, then I stop the roll altogether. I don't take the, the full fairway roll in, the, in those circumstances. But Matt's actually correct in, in his interpretation. According to the official Apple rules, yes, we would have deducted five yards in the roll, but it wouldn't have made much difference. Yeah. I get it. I, yeah, it's just like, you it, know, it, it, it's worth a, the extra it's effort. To, things up. That's all. Right, yeah. Yeah, uh, Matt just was what wanted to make sure of the clarification. Yep. So, yep. Thank you. Thank you. Good question, Matt. Thanks for bringing yeah, If you want to see anything in the questions uh, or anything in the uh, we're doing and you have any questions about it, just let us know. And I miss, misspoke before. Arnie is the one who's actually up at this point. Right. <laughs> yes. Okay, I am. 
150 out, right? Yep. So I will use my nine iron. Okay. Any, anything else? No. Nope. All right. Want to roll? Yep. Okay. 66. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. Dude, how many 66s are you going to roll? <laughs> and, and you thought the roller was. Uh, a whole you know, bunch, I hope. Yeah. It's a three. Okay. So this goes 450 left five, which is right there on pin location number six, I think. And then yeah. you get you get no green roll. Good. That leaves me two straights away, I believe. Yep. 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 You, you confirm that, Jester? Yes, sir. That's a good one to me. All right. So, uh, Dave, you're going to have a 22-foot putt to okay. go for the opportunity. Nice All shot. Right. Nice one, yeah. Heck yeah. Right. Clicking the wrong things there. Okay. All right, so now I've got a questionable lie, which means I'm limited in how much I can work the ball. I'm not going to work the ball. <clears throat> um, he's 135 out. Four. Okay. I'm going to hit a, um, a pitching wedge. 35 is a four, and that will go to the left. So I am going to take the average eye on that. I keep forgetting to put the numbers in. <laughs> so this, this goes uh, 445, right five. Now, the question is, does that land on the green or does it land in the fairway? Mm -hmm. And I would say that's probably the green. What do you think? It was, uh, what was the, I'm sorry, what was the uh, number? 445, right five. 425, 35, 45, right five. Yeah, that's, uh, I would call that green. Yeah, I don't yeah, get it. I, I don't get right it. Um, the, the, the questionable lie did push me 10 right. So that, that um, is, was factored into all this business up here. Because uh, the shot itself actually went left. All right, so I'm one straight out. And I've got a three-foot cut for a birdie yeah. opportunity. Oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> that, that's what, that's something I didn't tell you about, the beta version of 5.2.2. <laughs> it really favors player caddy. Caddy one. Caddy one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we tell the good rules to caddy one. I got you. All right. Okay, so we're over on the putting uh, boards here, and it looks like, Nick, you're out at 31. Uh, I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to play it safe because I'm a win. On well, the 15, that is a 9. All right. That's a good putt. It's not going to be in, I don't think. Yeah, I'm, going, I'm just but quite it, but, but You're playing safe, right? So that's, yeah. that's, that's a tap-in, right? Yep, yep, yep. That's what I got. Okay. That's all I wanted was my par. Yeah. Arnie, you're up at 22. Yeah, I'm going to play it safe, too. All right. We'll roll for you. 42. Two is uh, 23. All right. So you're left two feet out. Okay. Go ahead and put out. I guess I, I'm doing the putting here. But okay. 63. 26. Is 26. Yep, yeah, that's in. Two. All right. Mar and Nicholas from three feet. 32. I think I rolled that last time. 20. That's good. So another birdie. Or a birdie. All right. So after two holes, we got Nicholas at three under, Price at one under, Palmer at one under, and of course we see the tournament results over here. So Nicholas is now 18 under for the tournament. Price 13 under and Palmer 11 under. <clears throat> nice, nice. Um, so you finish the other golfers, right? And so you know what they ended up. If yeah. if we were to end, like, uh, is there like a certain score we need to go under to win? Well, you you, you got to beat Nicholas. So Nick, Nicholas. Well, what I'm saying is, is, does Nicholas need to beat anybody else? No, no, no. no. Okay. Nick, right. So at the start of tonight's round. 
Nicholas was in first place, okay, and he was two strokes ahead of Steve Stricker, who's done, right? Okay. So Stricker okay. is at 13 under. Gene Littler is at 12 under. Nick Price is tied with him uh, for third place at 12 under. And then uh, Palmer is uh, in seventh place by himself at 10 under at the start of tonight's play. Okay, okay. That's what I was wondering is, yeah. is if, if I wanted to get, you know, second place, I still need to get 13 or 15 under? Or that... Yeah, well, let's say Nicholas blows up, right, and, you know, shoots five over par uh, today. You'd still have to beat Stricker at 13 under. Okay, which I'm currently tied at right now. That's right. So I'm, I'm, I'm tied for second, I guess is what I'm saying. Yes. Okay, all right. Yep. All right, that's cool. All right, so now I, I've got something to shoot for. And even if I'm, even if, even if you blow us out of the water, I can still say to myself, "We just, you know, got to get to 13 to tie for second. 14 gives us second place all to ourselves." All right. Yeah. So this is our hole number three. We're cruising right along. Yeah. This is a par four, 434 yarder. There's a huge bunker on the left hand side. You want to blast it over that if you can. There's just this very gentle, slight dog leg at the 265 mark. Comes straight in. The front of the green is covered by another massive bunker. Our pin location is on the left-hand side if you're going to short side yourself. There you go. That is a look at hole number three. Yeah. And, and just one other point of clarification. Um, this... Uh, we're using the whole notes that are printed on the app of course boards, but the game caddy has some uh, supplemental uh, whole notes that were contributed by Dr. Tom Klein, the game's designer. But we're, we're and those appear up here at the top of the screen. But, but we're not using those this evening. Okay, they're in the game caddy, but but we're we're sticking with what's on the actual app of course board. And for this hole, there is no whole note. I should mention that, but I do a terrible. I did a terrible job. My bad. No, 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 no. That's <laughs> I, I, half the time I forget what I'm doing. Um, so no win on this hole. Oh, nice. We've yeah, been very when lucky. You have, when very you have lucky. calm conditions, you know that's one of the benefits. Oftentimes you get no win. All right. So Nicholas is up. Uh, I'm using a four wood and take the shot. So 13 is a three, which is his average W. And I'll remember to put it in this time and select that. So this shot carries to 245 left five. I'm sorry? 245 left five. 245 left five, you're perfect. And then rolls 15. 5, 10, 15, perfect. Right down the middle of the fairway almost. Just lovely. All right, I am going to use my three wood. And I am going to aim. I'm going to aim five to the left. Okay. I've been going right, and I tend to hit right anyway. So let's see if I can try to straighten things out here. Nick Price, forty-one with his wood is a six, so it did go right. Yeah, so you're at 240, right 5. 240, right 5. Oh, beautiful. And then 20 roll. 5, 10, 15. I think we, I just hit your ball. Uh, no, you, no, I'm on the left, you're on the right, I think. Oh, uh, I thought you said right. I'm sorry, my bad. All right, I got you. All right, so I'm, I'm waving to you over there. Hi. So, I mean, I, I could have messed up, to be honest with you, but... So you're at 260, right five. Yes, sir. Got it. No, no, I, I maybe I heard wrong. That could be. Okay. All right, Arnie. What's your what's your call here? We're we're using the four wood. Four wood. He's going yep. with the four it's wood. Straight away. All right. Fourteen. It's uh, eleven. I don't Ooh. think you're going to be happy with this. Uh -oh. uh, let's see. Uh, so 240 left 30. <laughs> 240 left 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He's in the rough. Rough. So you'll get 10 roll. Roll 10. 10 roll. All right. All in right. the rough. Yep. Okay. 
All right. I believe Arnie's going to be up again. He is. And he's, yep. got the, he's got the ball below his feet this time. So this ball is going to tend to go to the right. Ooh, and that's not lucky because the pin is actually 10 to the left. And you're short-sided, so... And you're short-sided, so you so, can't aim at the pin. Yeah. You could work the ball, but it's up to you. Yeah, I'm going to use my four iron. Okay. I'm not going to work it. I'm just going to use my four iron. All right. 66. Oh, my gosh. And that's a... That's a wood still, right? Uh, yes. So that's a one. So this ball um, goes 450 right 10. You're going to be a little 20, bit longer. 30, 40, 50, right 10. He's at the back edge of the green. He lands just on the back edge. So, so again, the way that I play it is he would get 15 roll. It's in okay. 15. Yeah, he's going to bounce out, bounce out in the rough there behind the green. You got you with me, Dave? Yep. Okay. And if you want me to count the roll differently, you know. To, no, I'm okay. To we'll, we'll play it this way. Okay. It's just faster. That's all. Yep. It rarely makes any difference. It's going to let me chip it in from there. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So you, yeah, you, so you're going to have quite a chip. But you, I mean, you got a good angle, but it'll be 30, 35 yard uh, chip. Right. There. Okay. So Nick, you're up. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see, what's my distance there? One seventy five from the fairway. One seventy five and um. I'm going to go with the six iron. So I think I'll get a little, a little bit of roll on this, won't I? Okay. You should get five roll, you know, depending on how. Yeah, you that's what I'm thinking. All right. So Nick Price, six iron. Uh oh. Oh no. Thirty-four. Good lord. Uh, with an iron is a 15. Oh boy. Where did I end up? Um, 435, right 20. Right 20, 5, 10, 15. Uh, just past the bunker, just off the green, I believe. Yeah, I think you're right. I, that, that would be considered rough. Again, yeah. Like okay. Uh, so you, you, you get five roll. Oh, so just you're gonna be, okay. You're gonna be right. in the rough there. I, I like where I Dave is. I, I kind of like. I got, whole, <laughs> I got a whole green to sh to roll the ball across. <laughs> I don't feel as bad now. <laughs> okay, so um, hmm, one seventy five. Okay, I'm gonna. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna do several things here. I'm gonna hit a six iron, knock down, and I'm gonna work the ball. I'm short sided five to the left. 41 is a five for the shot itself. And then a 35 is a four for working the ball. So this goes a little bit left. 425 left five. Hopefully I got a little 10, 25. 425 what? Left five. Uh, right on the green. And I get five green roll. So I'm yes, a diagonal away. One diagonal, yep. You're right at the five pin. So I've got a 13-foot putt here. Nice. Uh, nice shot. Nice. Okay, let's see who's up. So it's it's going to be Arnie. Um, right. You're, you, you can aim directly for the pin or you can... Switch it whatever way you want because you've got a good angle. You're 35 yards out. Yeah, I think I'll leave it. Okay. Yeah. Go right for it because yeah. even right. if you miss it by five long, five left, five right, or five short, you'll still be on the green. So this will sound familiar to you. It's a 43. Yep. So it's, it's a five. Still a five. It hasn't changed. Okay. 
So, and it's going to be a similar result. So you're you're hitting this uh, from the north of the target. So you're you're hitting it in this direction. So you're going to end up, um, let's just say five short, and then you can go right or left. So you're going to end up one diagonal away. Mm -hmm. So he could end up in the same yeah. spot as you. <laughs> yeah. One diagonal. All right. I guess it's my approach now. You'll be 16 feet out. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go straight at the pin because I don't see any reason not to. They're running three approaches of four. All right. So you're at 430 left 15. So you're going to be a diagonal, I think. 435 at 10, 20, 30. Uh, 430 left 15. 15. Boy, yeah, yeah, I went way past. But yeah, one diagonal away. Yep. Yep. Okay. And you're going to have a 13 footer. <sighs> you're killing us with these putts. Oof. Okay. Arnie, you're up. You're going to go for it? I'm going for this one. All right. Good luck. 45. Five is uh, 17. From 16 feet. Uh, you left it two two feet away. Man. Okay. All right. Go, go ahead, Nick. You can butt next. I want to see your line. All right. I, I, are you going to watch my and uh, see how it goes in? Yeah. All right. I'm going for this. Let's go, Nick. Let's do this, baby. Come on. 65 is a 20. One foot away. Ah, oh, missed it. Yep. All right. One Jack will go for it. Oh, well, you, I should let you guys put out. I wasn't thinking um, go, go ahead and put out, Nick. Are you going to put out? All right, sure. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. One footer, 53 is a 19. Ooh. That's definitely it. Okay. Arnie, you want to put out? Okay. Right. So from two feet, you get a double ones, right? So I'm it's pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, we're in. That's in from where I'm sitting. I mean, if you nice. get it from South Carolina, that would be in. Yeah. Okay. And Jack Nicholas from 13 feet, 26 is an 18. Um, it's in. From oh, feet. you're killing me. <laughs> right on the line there. All right. Well done. Well done. Okay. Mm. So Jack, four under. Nick, you're even. And so are you, Arnie. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Nick Nicholas has the best card I've ever seen. I mean, really. I mean, even if you take some of the uh, the, the better years of other players, um, and, and and mainly it comes down to putting. And, and you may recall that I've I've ranked all these players in terms of their putting ability. All mm -hmm. the all time great players, at least the original set. Nicholas was number one in terms of um, o overall putting ability from all distances. Um, I think um, Palmer was next uh, of, of the three of us, of the three guys that were playing tonight. Palmer came in at 31st and Price came in at 37th. Hmm. Okay. And, and that's, you know, yeah, it's just that's, just, that's just my, my formula for figuring it, those kinds of things out. We got a, uh, let's see, part three coming up, boys and girls. Everyone and hold on your heads. Here we go. It's the number four at Los Angeles. Par three. It's a long one. 236 yards. Our pin is way over the left, covered by a huge, massive bunker in front of it. To get to this one, you are going to have to work the ball and work it hard, baby. Work it hard. <laughs> okay. So so in addition to all that, we have a headwind. It's a very Ooh. headwind. So we won't know what the wind is until after the shot is taken. Ooh. Um, it's a par three, so I can't aim, but I can work the ball, as you said. Um, and, but we have a whole note up here, right? So all shots landing on the green bounce five yards to the left. Oh, yes. That could help us. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and and Nicholas has a, a, an odd number for his average W. It's a three. So I am actually going to hit, let's see what a four would does, 245. That's almost too much club. If I hit a two iron, he may. Is it 220. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hit a two iron. He may not hit the green with this shot. 
Um, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to work the ball. I'm just going to try to get on the green and salvage par on this one. So two iron. And i got to just, hopefully the headwind doesn't knock it back into that bunker. 15 is a two, so the ball went right. All right, and let's see what we get here. So it goes two, tw oh, yeah, look at this. So it really goes right because it got blown 10 right and lost 10 on the carry. Um, the shot itself only went five right, but we add that together, it's 15 right. So 220 right 15. Fairway. Yeah, so it's not going to bounce left, and I'll get 20 fairway roll. So I think I roll over the fair, oh, over the green, don't I? Yeah, I, you do. Am I on or am I off? I think you're off. Okay. All right. But they're still in the fairway there. Yeah. So yeah, so I have a 30 yard chip for my approach shot. Okay, Nick, you're up. Oh, I'm up. All right. Uh, you whoa, do whoa. have a bounce back point if you want to use it. It's up to you. Uh, nope, I've got plans. I'm using a uh, two. I we're, we got a headwind. Is that what yeah, you said? Yeah. Yes, uh, that's gonna knock it down, right? Hmm, I ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna hit a two iron. I'm going to hit it really hard. <laughs> okay. Does it count for anything? No? Okay. I'm going to hit it really hard. Oh, my gosh. 1-1. One, one. You did hit it hard. I hit it really hard. That is uh, 2 iron is a 3, which is not my average W, but... It will go left. Let's see what happens there. Uh, you got affected a little bit here by the wind. Left minus 10 and then left 5. So this shot lands at 210, left 10. 210 left 10. That's oh, bunker. Yeah. Wow. I got yeah. really. Mm. Yeah. All right. So no roll for you. No soup. No for roll you. for you. No, no soup, soup for, you. for you. No soup for you. Okay. All right, Arnie. All right. We're going to pull out the four wood. All right. And and you you two have a, uh, a bounce back. Is it just you want the four wood? Okay. Yeah. I'll use my bounce back. Yeah. All right. So let, let's. Let, I, I wasn't trying to encourage you to use it. Oh, I know. So so a four wood, and you've got an average W of four. So that's going to go to forty, uh, and then the headwind could affect that some. So just wanted yeah. to just kind of talk to you. All right. Yep. And and um, do you do you want to use the average W yeah. uh, bonus? Okay. All right. I want to make sure I remember to record the bounce back. All right, here it goes. Hold your breath. Ooh, here we go. So it ends up, the wind didn't affect it at all. So it goes 240, <laughs> 240 right five, but you'll bounce left immediately, right? So, so right at the center line. Yeah, so yeah, so you bounce to the center line and then you get 10 green roll. So you roll oh, off the green too. It's going to roll oh. off the back too. Yeah. Roll off. Just off the back. Man. None of us could hit the pin. What are none of us could hit the green? Well, you guys both got affected by the wind, and then I didn't. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, so you're sitting right at 250. But you'll you'll have a much uh, you'll likely end up closer to the pin than we will. I'm at 30 again. Let's see. No, you're at you're at 15. This is this uh, Nicholas is up right now. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to alter this to left ten instead of left fifteen. I don't. Uh, fifteen is too close to the end of the edge of the green there. I don't want to end up in the fairway with this shot. So approach board is twenty five to forty five. Take the roll twenty six. Oh my goodness! What a great roll. That's going to be a twelve. So it's six feet minus die. All right. Uh, so I'm going to uh, pull up the automatic die roller here, and if I get a six, it's in. I got a four. So he left. It's two feet away. So how would you pull up that die roller? C control D. 
Okay. Control D. Yeah. Yep. Nice, nice one. The nice chip there. Uh, I wish I could take the credit. It's just this Caddy One dice roller that makes all the difference <laughs> in the world. Uh, who's okay. up? Nick, Nick, you're up. You're you're in the sand. It looks like you don't have a poor lie or anything to worry about. You do have two sand points. It's up to you. And if you use a sand point, of course, that means that the the shot is a red from the fairway column instead of the sand column. Oh, right, right. Um, but you're short sighted. So your target is going to be the 240 center line. Position. Right, which is going to put it a million miles away. Yeah, yeah. That's a bad. That's a bad bunker. Part of the bunker to be in when you're, you've got pin locations over there. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't. I, no, I'm. I'm hoping to really miss hit this and have it go way left. Is what I'm hoping. I, I totally get it. So let's just hope I roll a bad one for a change. So you didn't leave it right where it is. I am just going for center line, yeah. Yep, okay. Yeah, so just a straight sand wedge there. Is a 56, uh, and that's from an approach, is that correct? Yes. Okay, it is a 6. Yeah, it's usually a good number. I mean, it's, it's surprising, but it, on most cards it is. So uh, so the good news is, is that you hit it to, to the point that you are targeting, and then you get to choose whether it goes right or left, and you'll certainly choose that it goes left and Correct. so you'll be two straights away. Correct. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. Nice. 28 feet. Not Ooh. great, but okay. Hey. All right. And you're 15 feet out, so there's really yep. nothing for you to do but us to roll the dice here. Yep. 65. That's a five. All right. And your ball ends up five feet away. All right like it <laughs> so we're all on the green nice nick your call all right i am 28 feet this is for par though Oof. i hate to play it safe for par putt but hmm i am gonna, i'm gonna go for it nick says there is no playing it safe not when Nicholas has got every two feet away. <laughs> Gotta go for it. All right, let's go. 51 is a 17. So that's going to leave you three feet away. Uh, I don't know. You want me to go ahead and end up out? You want me to put out? Yeah, please do. Okay. Uh, 13 is a 25. That's in. <laughs> up to 20. Barely. <laughs> Just barely. Alrighty. Five feet out. Come on, Dave. Put it in, buddy. That's right. I forgot I'm putting for you. Okay. <laughs> 25 is 14. That's in. Up to 24. Yeah. All right. Good nice. one. All right. Nicholas from two. I guess we'll Ooh, go. I mean, yeah. Go ahead. Come on. Yay. 52 again. 21, that's in. Let's see. Uh, uh, the crowd just moans. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you saved par. So, again, Jack at four under for the round. Nick now one over. Arnie even. And here's the attorney spread. Minus 19, minus 11, Oof. minus 10. Four under on your round. Wow, nice. I am two over on my round. And Palmer is even on this round. Nice. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously Jack, you know, has had some pretty short putts, so he's only he's only had four putts through four holes. Uh, hopefully that trend will continue, but uh, I, I'm not counting it on it. That's uh, you know, when you're four under and after only playing four holes, that's pretty good. So yeah, yeah. All right, so we got a uh, pardon four four hundred and nineteen yarder. No course, course notes on this one, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is just a slight dog leg at the 260 yard mark. Big trees line the right hand edge of this fairway. And then our pin position will be just up front on the just to the east of the center line, right there. Lovely. All right. 
Let's do this. And, and up around 315, you've got some deep rough there. It, it, first, I, I thought that was a, a sand trap, but then I realized that, no, that, that's deep rough. Um, so I, hopefully Nicholas won't hit it that far. I, I would like to hit it straight, though. He's going to hit with his driver. We have no wind on this hole. 21 is a four. That'll be straight enough. So that goes. He, has he miss hit anything yet? Uh, oh he, my he, god! He can, he can wildly miss hit. He has some. He has some really bad numbers. I just haven't rolled them. Um, yeah, two sixty five right fifteen. Two sixty five right fifteen is fairway, and we'll have twenty five roll. So it's going to be up at two ninety right fifteen. It's all fairway, man. Just fairway, fairway, and more fairway. I mean, you just make this game so boring, hitting in the fairway every time. <laughs> okay, Arnie's up, actually. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I hit my driver. Right. Right away. Okay, 44, you'll like that. Four is a three. All right, so you're going to go 270 left, 15. Fairway. And then 30 roll. So 300 left 15. Fairway. Yep. Nice. Nice drive, Dave. Nice drive. All right, I'm going to uh, blow up the driver and see what we can get ourselves into here. You do have a bounce back. Mm, yeah, I'm going to save him for the back. Okay. 16 is a four. Oh, it's a 14. 255, right 30. So you're going to be visiting the forest again. It's a good thing you can't see the camera on my face right now. There's a few fingers that are sticking up. <laughs> I think I heard that ball bouncing in there somewhere. All right, tell you, this is crazy. Well, caddy no, two caddy. dice rollers. <laughs> well, you, you know the caddy does have a tree bounce tool. Uh, I, I, I haven't used it for this tournament, but if you do want your ball to bounce off. The, uh, oh, like bounce around? This, yeah. Yeah, this. you just click the tree bounce button, and then it'll, it'll relocate your ball within five yards of the hole, or five yards of that spot, but no closer to the hole. Ah, that's, uh, that's cool. That's just a little homebrew feature there. Right, oh. right. I, it looks like you're under a tree. You're not stymied, though. Um, you're being generous there. Well, no, no. It, it, it's so stymie. You have to be two full squares in. Are you? Oh, two full square. Okay, I'm not two full in. Okay, I'm. I'm just over one. I think. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Right. Okay. I got you. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I'll be under a tree then. <laughs> All right. Recovery time. You want to play safe back to the center line or play aggressive? Max. Yeah, we're going aggressive. Five iron. We're going aggressive with the five iron. Okay. And that may not be the club you want to use, but right because I only need 165, right? Yep. 165. We're gonna go. We're gonna go six iron. Okay. Because I'm going. I'm coming out of the underneath the trees and stuff. So let's go six iron. All right. And uh, obviously center line. Oh, 56. With an iron is a 16. Lovely. All right. So the, the trees kicked the ball 10 yards to the right, so you ended up at 420, right 25. 35, four, uh, 40, uh, let's see, 85, 95, 4, 10, 20, what? 25. Oh, just in the rough, just in front of the tree? Yeah, I think yeah. you're just in the rough and you're going to roll five yards. All right, all right, great. Great, 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 great. Excellent. Uh, 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 uh. I was working at 30 yards to the left, too. Oh. <laughs> I'll get that on the next shot. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm back up again. All right, let's see. 125. I'm short-sighted. Four. Ooh, Dave has is, is got a good angle. He's going to go right on that pin. Mm. He's got a good. He's got a good chance at this one. Uh, I'm. I'm, I'm going to do a gap wedge. What's going to happen is, if even if I get my average eye, it's going to roll back five yards on me. So, but I'll just take my chances. Gap wedge. 
43 is a five. This is not going to be two feet away. Finally. So it, goes, it goes, yeah, 405 left five. I'm, I may roll off the green here. 405, 35. 40, uh, 85, 95, 405, right five? Yeah, no, left. Left five? All right, you're right on the green. All right, so that backs me up five yards. And now Which I'm in the fairway. Put you back in the fairway, yeah. Yeah, that, that was the risk. I knew it was there. <clears throat> All right. When you're not within two inches, what what's wrong with you? <laughs> what, what, what happened to, uh, to, oh, I've got the ball markers mixed up here. That's what the problem is. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not not what you're looking at, but what I'm looking at. Okay. So, Arnie, you're up. All right, I'm going to use my uh, sandwich. All right. And let's see, you do have uh, a good angle, so you can aim if you want. It's up to you. Yeah, aim right at that pin, Dave. Yeah, it's easy for you to say. All right, I'll aim it right by. Yeah. Remember now, he's the one that talked you into it. I know. Right, here's a, here we go. 65 is a five. You'll be glad you aimed because this shot's going to go left, and that'll just ultimately put you a little bit closer. See? See? Listen so to me. You're, you're 405 on the center line, but you're going to back up off the green, too. Uh, 405 center line and then yep back off yep wow we got it surrounded boys we got it surrounded <laughs> okay arnie you're up now uh, you, you can putt from this distance if you want to um if you do putt from this distance i can i can tell you uh, well, let me let me calculate it for you in terms of what it would be. All right. So, Why would he be up? I'm a lot farther away than him. Oh, wait a minute. You're absolutely right. Maybe hang on a second. I didn't hit the all-in-one button. All right, he's up. I'll shut up. I'll come. I'll come back to it later. Okay. I'm I'm a, I'm on the woods. I don't know why he he's just a few it, feet away. Yeah. I lost sight of you. I am way <laughs> out there. I'm like, the I'm, I'm taking a pee. I'm out in the woods. So. We thought you were still looking for your ball. Uh, I got to go for the center line, so I'm just going to aim at the center line there, Scott. Okay. Uh, 13 with an approach is a five. All right, so you got one of these I, minus fives. So this, all right, so this would put you, so the, the ball lands on the center line there which would be at the 410 mark, and then you're approaching from the east. So that, in essence, means um, you'd come back to the, the pin placement number four and then go right or left, which would be north or south from there. So either way, that's going to be one straight away. Did, did, were you able to follow all that? I was, yeah. Yeah. I was, yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, one straight away. I'll take it. As long as you give me, a like, a two- yeah, well, your putt distance is 13. So you literally rolled a two. I said to give me a two, not roll a two. Come on, oh. Scott. <laughs> okay. Um, so now I, I have the option of putting from this distance. And this is what I started to describe before, but was not using my own player. Um, <laughs> I, I am two diagonals away. And I can do this because I'm on the fairway and I'm within two um, squares of the fairway. So two diagonals, I I'm not gonna end up doing this, but I just wanna show you what the option is here. So okay. it would be, it's 30, I'm 31 feet away. If I come over here to the putting boards, no, it won't let me do it that for that. Okay, let me do this, clubs and then putter. What it would mean is I have to go for it and I'd have to read it from this column here. And Nicholas is a great putter, but I don't want to go for it from 40 to 49 feet okay. at this point oh, okay. in, in the tournament. So I'm not going to go for it. I'll come back here, and I'm going to clear this number out of here and that number out of there. And instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chip it from 10. And is there a, um, Scott, is there a, um, 
a distance that you maximum on that putty? You mean in terms of feet? Yeah, I mean, like, like you have to be within like four diagonals or two. Or... No, no, it doesn't. That part doesn't matter. What does matter is that you're on the fairway and that you're within two squares of the green. Of the green. Okay. Okay. That, that's the limitation there. Okay. Um, I got a lousy roll. Fifty-four in the A column is a sixteen. That's going to put. Oh well, as it turns out, it's not such a bad number. It's only four feet away. <laughs> I had a bad shot. I'm only four feet away. <laughs> Shows what I know. I, I'm surprised that that turns out to be only four feet away. You know, it's not a number that I've, it's come up much, so I don't know what it is. But. Hey. Okay. Now, uh, your situation. Um, let me tell you how far you are. You're not. Let's see. You are. Did we say? Yeah. So 20, you're 27 feet out. So what you would end up having to do is go for it. How do I hit that? You'd have to go for it from the 30 to 39 foot distance. If you yeah, wanted. I don't think so. Okay. So you, you go to the column to the right of wherever it is, but under the, you have to go for it. Yeah. And there's a, there's a tool down here that will take care of all that stuff for you. The putter off green tool will do, do all the rolls and calculations for you. Uh, and maybe we'll end up using it later. Uh, okay. 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 It's a little shortcut. I got you. Uh, I'll chip it in. Let's yeah. hope so. And 10. Oh, wrong button. Oh, down one. There we go. <laughs> I must have some built in bias here that uh, favors Nicholas. I guess. Wow. That's okay. a five. All right. So you're four feet away as well. Okay. Oh, lovely. Okay, so Nick, you're up at 13 feet out. Going for it. Got to. Come on, Nick. Make one. 23. No, nope. two feet. Shh, I'll punt out. Yeah, please. 26, 18. That's it. All right. Hit the wrong button. Um, so you go ahead, Arnie. You're next. Okay. Put her in. Twenty-two. I'm sure that's it. Four. Yeah. Mm. Nice one. All right, and Nick was from four feet. Thirty-three. Uh, okay, that's a five. That's in. I'm feeling a little bit guilty here. Okay. <laughs> I, I would hope so. I would hope so. <laughs> okay. So uh, a couple of pars and a bogey on that hole. And we won't name names. All right. <laughs> Dave, we're tied, buddy. Right? Hey. Yeah, we're tied. All yep. We're all tied up. Ten under. Yep. Yeah. Dave, Dave's going for second place. He's like, don't, leave, don't forget about me. All right, we got a par three coming up, boys. All right. This is a funky second. one. It's got a huge... Sand trap Hunter, in right middle. in the middle of the green. The golfer who's on the green without a straight line to the pin location must chip. We are, of course, looking at the pin position right here next to the bunker, too. So we it's have no short, No way. 75. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit a seven iron and just swing away here. 16, 15 in the I column. This goes 165 right 20. 165 right 20. Just on the edge of the green. And it gets five green roll. All right, you are one, two, three straights away. But I do have a direct line to the pen, so that's good. You do. All right, so I'll be sitting 38 feet out. <clears throat> mm. All right, you're up. Yeah, I'm going to use my uh, seven iron. You can roll it. 25. 
That's four. That's my average. Yeah, and you and you probably don't want to take it right because you want to go five right in this case. Right. Trust me on that one. Yep. One sixty-five right five. On fifty sixty-five right five. Ooh. And then no roll. No roll. Oh, one straight edge away. Yeah, and you have a direct line. Yeah. Lovely Good. shot there. That's what I'm hoping for right there. Can you hit mine? Can you hit mine for me? Ten feet. All right. Yep. Ten feet. Okay. Yeah, give me your driver. Uh, <laughs> give me your driver. <laughs> uh, let's go with the six iron. We don't have anything. No win, right? No win. 55 with an iron is a five. That is my average W. I will, uh, because I would go left. Yes, I would use it, right? Well, it depends. Is it going to put you in the bunker? I'm not sure if it is or not. So let's let's just do a quick check here. Six iron, your average I is a five. So coming down here to a six iron, that ball is going to go 170, 60, 70, and then it's going to roll five. I mean, it, you're going to actually be in a situation where you're going to have to chip off the green if either way. You're either going to do it from the sand or you're going to do it from the green, I think. One seventy, right? Our left it, five? No, well, it's 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 going to be one seventy left five unless you take your average I, in which case it will just be one seventy. Right, and then I'm going to get five roll. Yes, either so way. They're going to be behind the bunker or in the bunker. I see That's what you're correct. saying. Uh, let's put it right in the middle of the bunker. Why not? Okay, so you will take it. All right. Oh. Yeah, mine I, I don't know why I see numbers there that aren't there. Okay, five. All right, so 170 plus five roll. That was not the greatest of shots. In case anyone wants to know um, how you would handle it if you had to chip over that bunker from the green, I've got a, a, a tutorial, a new tutorial on that. If you go to the Game Caddy channel, not the play channel, but the regular channel, and look at, I think it's uh, the, you know tutorial number 20 or something like that. Um, it'll, it'll yeah, I was going to say, I remember this uh, from your tutorial yeah. session on it. Yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's a it's really great. good video. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's see. Who's up? Well, be, be, because even even though you might be physically closer than I am. Oh, because it's not. I'm not technically not on, right? I yeah, got you. yeah. I got you. Okay. Um, you got to stand. I got to go for this. Can so I? Because I'm in the center line. I can go for the pin, right? Uh, well, you're like you're less than twenty yards out, so you don't even need to worry with that. Right. You're, it's you're, just, just, just going to give me distance away, right? Yeah. All right, so, the, the only question is, do you want to use your standpoint? And, and no. Fairly calm. Okay. Uh, so approach of 15. Okay. So you end up 11 feet away. Are you kidding me? How terrible am I? All right. So I'm. Maybe I'm, that would have been the opportunity to use your. Standpoint. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and of course, it's too late now. But yeah, I probably should have. I should have thought about that a little harder. Yeah. Uh, Scott, next time you say, "Hey, maybe you should use it," you should phrase it like, <laughs> "You should probably use your standpoint." That's the way you need to phrase that. Okay. That's a, that's a Yankee nudge. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm I'm playing it safe. Sixty-three is a twenty-six from thirty-eight is three feet away and if you don't mind i'll just cut out to yep 53 is a 17 that's going to be in all right nick you're up again <clears throat> oh i'm up yeah sorry thought i was in i don't know why <sighs> are you kidding me maybe i should use the crappy roller because i'm not doing much better 63 to 26. 26 from 11 feet is three feet. Oh my God. 52 is a 21. 
That's going to be it. All right. Arnie. All righty. Roll me up. All right. Hello. This night golf is, is hard for me to focus. What's this? Yeah. 36. 36 is 24. 24 from 10. You're going to leave it two feet away. Okay. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. 42 mm. is 23. That's in. Yep. All right. Gentlemen, we're blazing through these holes here. Okay. So score is essentially unchanged, right? Or one other way. No, Nick. Um, yeah, I lost another stroke. I am now losing the tournament. That's all right. The cash prize is the same either way. <laughs> a car, right? That's what I heard. No, it's, it's, well, I, I probably have a Matchbox car somewhere right here. <laughs> All right, this one looks like an actual hole here. We got a little bit of issue here. It's a 408 R4, but we do have drives landing to the left of the center line pitch, left 10 yards. And drives landing in the right rough, pitched right 10 yards. And we do have a slight dog leg at the 260 mark. Huge bunker over there on the left. And our pin position is right on the center line. So you can go for it no matter yeah, where you're shooting This from. is a tiny green. It's really yeah. tough to hit this green. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, Nicholas is up, so I'm going to hit a four wood. Um, we're we're going to lose five on the carry because of wind um, for the whole hole. Okay, so roll the dice. 44 is a two. And that's going to go... 250 right 10. I don't think that's going to be in the it's yeah, perfect it's fairway. It's, fine. Yeah. it's perfect. So I, yeah. I get the full roll of 15. So 265 right 10. Yep. Um, you know, yeah. Just fine. <laughs> what is Arnie, that you're up. Four wood. Okay. Be these peakers. Straight away. 45. That's my four, so that's my average. You, you want to take it? Yep. You should take it. I'm taking the yes. cues from uh, the gesture. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm taking. Okay, 235, right five. 235, right five. Perfect fairway. Roll 15. 15 roll. Yeah. Yep. All right, I'm using the. Uh, Bounce back because I have a birdie or a bogey. Sorry. Right, one second, let me caught up with you there. <clears throat> you guys hear that sound? Yeah, a little whistling. Yeah, it's, like a, it's like a whistling sound. It's, 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 it's my fan on my computer because. Uh, okay, it's, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't yeah, mine. This room is pretty hot. I, I let me. Try to open the door. You're fine. I just I, I just changed speakers because I was having a lot of feedback with my other speakers. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't me. All right. So um, you're if you take your average W, it's a four, right? So you're going to yeah. go to the right. You could essentially hit a driver if you wanted to. I am. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to hit a driver. All right. So four. And you want to use that reduce five. And so this ball goes 260 right 10. Yep, perfect. And rolls 25. Yes, nice. perfect. Perfect fairway. Nice, nice shot. Yeah. Well, I mean, to, you know, it's great when back. you don't have to actually roll and it just gives you a good thing. So that's way to, way to bounce back there. <laughs> If you take the dice rolling out of this game, it's awesome. It's <laughs> what am I? One sixty-five away. Yes, sir. Three wood. Um, I'll do my uh, seven iron. Okay. 
15. That's a four. My average. And you, and you want to take it, right? Because you want to yes. touch it on the center line. Mm -hmm. Yep. So this ball lands at 410, right on the pin, no roll. Wow, it landed right at the pin. Wow. Right. So wow. let's let's see how far away you are. This could be in. This could it be could in. be. That'd be awesome. Five feet away. Oh, oh we I wanted it. it in. We wanted it <laughs> in. Great shot. Nice. Okay, so Nicholas is up. 150. And four. I'm going to do an eight iron knockdown. Although that's interesting. What that's going to do is make this minus five essentially a zero, which is still going to take me five yards too far, but uh, not much I can do about it. 23 is a 13. It wouldn't matter anyway because I'm nowhere. I'm not going to be on the green here. 415, right 20. Ooh. So I'm in the right rock. 20. Yeah, you're way out there in the rough. Yeah. And I get I get five yards roll. Okay. Yeah, you got a you got a little chip to come back. You got a little chip to work. You got a little work left on this one. All right. Hey, you're you're one thirty carry objective. One thirty. I am gonna go with a pitching wedge. Okay. Forty-four. It sounds good. It's an iron five. That is my iron uh, number. I will take it. Good call. So you land right on the pen, but you you back up five yards. Okay. Yeah. So one straight away. Pitching wedge. Right. So I go there with the one straight edge away. Who? So you got a ten footer or birdie up. All right, now I'm 20 out to the pin, so that's just a matter of clicking on that board. Take the shot, 45 is a 5. In the A column, that leaves me 8 feet away, but for a par. All right, Nick, you're out, 10 feet. All right, I am going to go for this. I have got to make one of these. Come on now, let's go. 51 is a 17. That's in. Oh, it rolled around the rim. Wild. The crowd <laughs> goes wild. Ball rolled around the rim and dropped in. Wow. Nice shot. I'll, I'll just put out there. Uh, oh, I did. You uh, did, yes. <laughs> Congratulations, yeah. All right, Nicholas will go for it, of course, from eight feet. 25 is a 12. That's in from eight feet up to 20. Saves par. Okay, Arnie. Okay. Oh, I'm doing. I'm listening to my dog snort over here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forty-three. What is that? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven oh. from five. That doesn't sound good. So is it? No, he misses it, but leaves himself a tap. Dang it! Yes, I made a stroke back. All right. Now it's come back, baby. Come back. Come on back. Yeah, closing the gap there. Closed. I just tie. I just tied it. I'm not even. Yeah. Ten. I'm ten under. There we go. All right. We're still nine shots back of Nicholas, though. All right. Hole number eight coming up. Hard four four sixteen. This is a crazy hole. You can hit it way left and end up in the fairway. <laughs> That yeah, is crazy, and there's no coast course notes on this either. Nope. Don't want to go right. This, this hole has played surprisingly hard. I, I, I'm not quite sure why. Um, I, mean, I think it has something to do with the pin location being so far back uh, on the green that it's, it's really kind of hard mm -hmm. to get that location. Way back there in par four. Way in the back. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and close to the right, too. So you can you can either go too far or too much to the right. Yeah. Nick, you're up. You got your bird. I am up. Oh, you guys watch out now. Here we go. 
Here we go. Mm mm mm. Mm. I am going to use a bounce back point and I'm going to hit my probably my three wood. You, you're going to use a momentum? I'm, I'm sorry, momentum. Yes, yeah. I'm barring. Yes, momentum, not bounce back. I'm just trying to see if I want to use a three wood or what's going to happen. Yeah, point. we have no win. So the driver is going to go four. It's going to go 265. Uh, right 10, and then I'm going to get 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 roll, or 25 roll, somewhere there. Yeah, I'll lose my driver. That's fine. I should be fine. Okay. And you want to um, reduce the left right. Yes. Yeah. Bonus, I guess, is the way to say that. Yes. Right. Sorry. And so you're at 265 right 10 with 25 roll. All right. And that put you 290 right down. Yep. And I'm in the fairway. Lovely. Yay. Who said this hole was hard? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Wait, no. I want you guys hit it all over the place. If you guys hit it all over the place, that'd be great. All right. I, I may do that. Here we go. 65. No, that's not all over the place. That's okay. I got a four on that in the W column. So this goes 265 right 15, which I think is still the fairway. Yep. And then 25 rolls. So I'm at, I'm just to the right of it, 290 right 15. But I'm, I'm, I may be in the intermediate rough. Yeah, I believe you are. Your, your call on that. I believe that's, uh, yeah, I think it's intermediate rough. Okay. Yes. In fact, we're going to call that water because, yeah. <laughs> Sprinklers were on. Yeah, yeah. He hit it in a puddle. We, uh, we, Sorry. You know, it hasn't come up yet, but this course is, you know, if you look at it, it's covered with cart paths, right? And, oh, yeah. there's no, and they don't appear in the legend anywhere, and there's no guidance on how you're supposed to play the ball from the cart path. So I'll tell you right now how I've been playing it is I just counted as regular rough uh, and, you know, you know, it, it, so just just pretend it's regular rough if you if you land there or roll onto a cart path. Okay. I'll use my four wood. All right. And Anything else? Aim right five. Okay. Okay. Forty six. You clobbered it. Yeah, it's a thirty two. So this ball goes 240, right 15. 240, right 15. He's fine. And then he gets 30 roll. 10, 20, 30. Yeah, he's fine. That's, that's a great four-wood shot. 270, yeah, right 15. Yeah, four-wood. <laughs> it's as long as our drivers almost. <laughs> Look at that. Good shot. Sure. Yeah, having said all that, you're still up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. 165, right? Yes, sir. 265. No, no. Seven, one. seven iron. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Straight away. Oh, we're, we're, we're away, yeah. Right. Right, yeah. 446. <laughs> oh, you'll like this. You'll like this. We're going to get an absolute outcome on this, I think. Yeah. So absolute outcome. So it's a hole plus dice roll. So all we do here is close all this stuff up. All right. And then I'm going to do I'm going to do the dice roller here, the control D, yep. and whatever the sum of the two dice is, is how many feet you are away from the pin. Okay. You're five feet away. Yes. At two dice. Thank you. All right. And I'll put the ball on green tool. Oh, there. that was a good shot there. Wow, nicely yeah, done. Yeah, that's terrific. That's really super. Well played. Can't complain about that at all. Why change? Oh, you know what? This is just an oddity of the game caddy. So um, I'm going to be up next, but I've got a. It's, it's telling me the line changed from intermediate rough to regular rough. 
but like why is why is Palmer still up? Once I close this, it'll take me over to uh, the appropriate caddy. Right? Okay. So you'll see now that this is RR instead of IR down here. Okay. Um, 145. Four. Let's see. I'm going to hit a 9-iron. 41 is a 5, which is going to go to the right. I'm going to end up in that situation where I'm off the green over there on the right, I bet. So this goes 420, right 10. 80, 90, 10, 20, right 10, 5, 10. They're just to the fairway off the green. Yep, and I get 5 roll. Okay. No, that's not bad. Not yeah. bad. 10, 10 feet away, or 10, or diagonal and straight away if you wanted to put it. Okay. Nick, you're 140. Yep. Uh, I am going to go with the 9 iron as well. I kind of like that call. Let's see what we can do with this 9 iron. Bust it in there. Not really a 65, but an iron is a 5, and that is my average W. I will take it. Uh, yeah, average I, okay. And so 430, you're right on the pin. Oh, nice. lovely. Nice. All right, so we'll look and see how many feet away. It's in. It's in. It's in. I know it. Six feet. I like your enthusiasm, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be up here uh, 10 feet off. Yeah, this is he's too far away to putt from that distance. So uh, I'll just take the coach shot, 34. Not a good roll, 15. So I'm six feet away. And from, you know, 10 yards out, you'd expect to do a little bit better than that. But I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that <laughs> that's... That, I haven't made it. I'm like, how can I be six feet away? I've made everything within 80 yards. <laughs> All right, I deserve that. Okay. <laughs> Nick, Nick, why don't, why don't you, we're the same distance. I'll go. All right, I'm going. Here, I'm going for it. Come on. Let's get one, baby. Come on. Let's get another stroke. 34. That does not sound good. No, it doesn't. That is a 28. Yeah, so you missed it by a foot. <sighs> ah! These Good. dice. These dice. These dice are killing me. 22. That should be in. It's a four. Ah! Uh, yeah, you needed, you needed that one the first time. Okay, Nicholas from six feet. Double ones. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I love it. What did he roll? Okay. Eleven. Arnie, from five. You ready? Yeah. Fourteen. You'll like Fourteen. That. That's a fourteen, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. That's it. We're in. Okay. All right. So Arnie is kind of making his little move here, right? He's, I he's, think. He's, he's creeping up. He's think. under par now. Ah, right. uh, I should have had a birdie on that one too. Ooh. Man, sorry. All right. So Arnie, all right. All tee shots carry five, minus five carry on this one. Last one on the par uh, on the front nine. Here is a par four to four hundred and twenty yarder. Bunker on the left, bunker on the right. Our pin location is just off the center line. All tee shots minus five carry, and uh, Mr. Arnold Palmer is up first. So, Arnie, I have put in the minus five carry for you. I've, I've applied that okay. course adjustment for you. Uh, you do have a birdie. You still have one momentum point left. Um, your call. Yeah, I'm going to use my momentum. Okay, and there's no wind. I didn't say that. Okay. Yep. And my uh, driver. Two sixty right ten. Yep. And twenty five roll. Yep. Just lovely. Right where you want to be. Like right where you want to be. 
And you yep. have a good angle for the next shot, too. Oh, yeah. Smart move there. Okay, Nick, you, you're up. I'm up? All righty. I am going to... I'm going to hit a three wood. I'm going to hit a three wood. Okay. And I am going to aim. Oh, we got minus five carry. Yeah. Um, I'm going to aim five to the left. I don't want to. Yeah. I'm going to aim to the left. All right. You ready? Uh oh, 55. That is a three. Two fifty left, fifteen. Two fifty left, fifteen. Five two fifty. Right on the edge of the fairway. But you got twenty five fairway rolls, so you're gonna roll into that. 10, bunker. 15, 20. I got twenty and I'm in the bunker. Yeah. In the fairway bunker. So my five left didn't really matter, did it? <laughs> no, it was it was probably just too much club. I mean, you, you know, but you also had a, a, a result. It was a three, right? And your the guy has an average W of four, so after, yeah, you, you, you longer than he normally does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to hit a four wood just you know, straight away here. Forty two is also a three. Uh, that is his average W, which I'll take. All right, so this goes 240 left five and rolls 15. 240, 240 left five and rolls 15? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, all right, yeah, I see. I see how you did that, okay. Okay, uh, I'm still far here. I'm short-sighted, so we'll just pick a club to kind of hit it. To the center line here, 164. I'm going to hit a seven iron knockdown. 41 is a five. That ball's going to go left, but I don't think it's going to have enough distance. So 410, left five, no roll. 410, 410 what? Left five. A five, your one straight edge? Yep. All right. Nice shot. So nine feet. Nice shot. Thank you, sir. Nick? Uh, can I use a sand for this? Or because it's no. a fairway bunker? Uh, it's yeah. only, yeah, it's only green side It's bunker. only, yeah, that's what I thought. It's only the, um, around the green bunkers, right? Yeah, with it, we have to be within 100 yards and you're 150. Okay. 150, you said. Ah, I see how you play this. I'm going to hit an 8 iron then. Is that right? Yep. Okay. <sighs> wow. All right. Uh, with an iron, that is a 4. So, 420, right 10. Uh, 84, 94. 4, what? What was that? 420 right 10 or 20 right 10 just off the edge in the rough all right and then you're gonna get five more rough uh, roll all right um just just over the green there okay arnie Use the GW club. The old gap wedge, okay. Yeah. Anything else? Nope. You gonna aim at the pin? Nope. Is that fifty one? Yeah. I was gonna say you could change your mind. It's a gentleman's game here. No, that's okay. That's a four. Okay. That's my average. And you'll you'll wanna take it, right? So Yes. You don't need to go right. So four ten and back up five. 
Uh, one diagonal, one straight away. Yes, sir. But okay, just I like to double check my math because. <laughs> well, and I'm and I'm obviously moving the markers around on my uh, own board too, so that I can make sure I'm in sync with what the caddy's doing. Uh, Twenty nine feet away. Yep. Okay, Nick. I'm on the All green. Right. That's what you're, about. you're from fifteen. Just, just roll the dice. All right. 13 approaches of five. Okay. You're eight out. Hmm. Nice. Arnie, 29 feet. Yep, safe. Okay. 43. Is a 27. You'd be glad you played it safe. That's going to be three feet away. Yeah. Okay. Put out. okay. 53. 17. I think that's an E6, right? An error on the shortstop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. All right. Jack's uh, far now at nine feet. He'll go for it. 46. Not a good number there. 26, 9. He's going to miss that one. So he misses by 2. First putt. Uh, he's kind of cooled off a little bit here. 10. That's in from 2 feet. Yeah, a lot of pars for Nicholas after that blazing start, though. All right, Nick, you're up. Oh, I'm still. I haven't even got it in yet, huh? <laughs> How far am I? 8 feet. Uh, let's go for it. All right, let's go for it. 42. Oh, no. 23. Is that going to be too high? It is. Yeah. Yeah, one foot. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah, Nick, Nick is I, on his I, I'm sorry, sorry to say, um, these these dice, you will never <laughs> see these dice again. I'm just saying. You, you, don't need, you don't need to know what happened to them. Just Start know the fire pit up. <laughs> 44 now, you get them in seven. <laughs> Right. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the front nine. Uh, Nicholas at four under, Price at three over, and Arnie Palmer at one under. Um, Nicholas still has a let's call it a commanding lead if we're being honest about it, right? And then Arnie at eleven under, and Nick there at at nine under. Um, I'm trying to look and see if there's anything worth commenting on real quickly um, regarding this front nine. Nicholas only had 22 putts. That's pretty amazing, really. Yeah. I mean, I think I think the record for this tournament is 20 putts in a round, and that involved, I think, a couple of chip-ins. Mm. Um, and he doesn't have that yet, but he does have a lot of one-putts uh, racked up. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's really, I think, been the difference. I mean... Um, you know, 17 putts for Price because he's he's not making his first putts, right? Look, you know, he's got a slew of two putts here, no no three putts uh, for any of us, right? But that's that's kind of the big difference. And then if you look at uh, uh, total length of putts. Uh, you got Palmer here with 35 and a half feet, uh, Price with 23 and a half, and 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 Nicholas with with 45. And that's because one of those putts was you know 13 feet, uh, whereas. Price had a, a 10 footer and uh, Arnold had uh, a 12 footer. So, and we're, we're, you know, Price Price and Nicholas are, are pretty comparable when it comes to fairways and greens and regulations. I mean, there's a little difference there where Nicholas has got 56% and Price only has 44%. But come down here and look at, at Palmer. He's got 67% greens and regulations, 71% mm -hmm. fairways. You know, he's, he's beating both these guys in those categories. That's there. Uh, so kind of interesting how the data is yeah. playing out here. And it'll be interesting to see how the back nine goes, too. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And you, you will save it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me, though, because I've <laughs> there have been times when I've forgotten to do that. But, uh, yeah, I would hate to miss out and have to redo everything. That would be Well, we do have it on video, but so I'd have to go back manually. You'd have to go back <laughs> manually and do it all. There you go. Yeah. You'd have to enter it in manually. Right. There and, you and go. But, I, uh, I'm afraid to admit that I 
I've done that at least one time. <laughs> I, I, it, it pops up a message. You should, do you want to save this before you close? No. Oh, wait. No. Wait. <laughs> Shoot. I did want to save it. Yeah, I've had that happen. All right. Well, that was a great, great time. Yeah. I oh, yeah. Sorry we didn't do so good and make it an interesting, like I thought, you know, get a couple strokes on you and then put the pressure on and then Dame squeaks in at the end, comes down to the last. No, it's like a nine shot lead with eight holes to play. Well, I have been known to fold on the back nine, so uh, you know it's it's still within the realm of possibility. We can only hope. We can only hope. <laughs> well, Dave did really well. He's uh, one under par and everything. And yeah. um, I know I you don't play a lot of the apple golf. You played some, so just getting back into the swing of it. Uh, you're yeah, doing well, really well. Yeah, I mean, and and it. it I'm not saying this just to be nice. No one's ever accused me of that. But, but you know, experience counts when you're playing, you know, half a golf, right? If you've played a course, you know, 66 previous times, you kind of know, you know, what to look for, what can happen. And right. uh, that, 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 that gives you at least a couple strokes edge, uh, you know, when you're playing against somebody who, who hasn't played the course that much or, or even if they haven't played it at all. Right. Well, I think this is a great course to learn on and to play on, too, because yeah. it doesn't give you a lot of crazy, you know, Water traps left and all this right, stuff. Yeah. you know, hit this, you know, uh, you roll six times on the left, and then, you know, it's, <laughs> this is just a nice play the shot and go forward. Yep. Yeah, I totally agree. If you're new to Apple Golf or, or new to the game, get out of your boat, th this would be the course that I would recommend that you start to learn how to play on. Um, others that would fit in that same category would be Magnolia or Metro DC. Um, but, you know, in, in truth, I, I, I like this course the best. Of course, it does help that we have calm wind, too, uh, which you're more likely to have with playing Los Angeles. Me in Metro DC, you can have calm wind there. Uh, Magnolia tends to be a little bit breezier, usually. Um, but, um, you know, you play whatever you like, you know, whatever you enjoy. Personally, I just don't like playing courses that have so many whole notes that, you know, I forget what I'm doing, you know, halfway through the round because I'm just uh, overwhelmed with making all those adjustments. Yeah. I, 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 I will acknowledge they add more realism, but I'm, for me, they don't necessarily add um, the same amount of enjoyment. The fun, right, yeah, right. It gets to be to the point where it just takes some it's of work. the enjoyment away. Yeah. And this is why I love the game candy, because the thing I didn't like about Apple Golf, a great game, but it's just so math intensive and calculators and trying to calculate anything out. And when I came across the game caddy, I am like, I like would like everyone in the world to know about this because it's such a good program. And I think there's a lot of people that try Apple Golf and go, eh, it's just not for me. Yeah, and, for um, me, for me, I learned to get. You know, I use the get the golf caddy to help me learn how to play. So I didn't have to learn it without the golf caddy. I used it to teach me, help, help do that for me. It for sure does. It for sure yeah. does. And it definitely gets you to understand some of the basic rules. And I, you know, I was learning basic, I was learning the game caddy and using, uh, learning golf and getting a good tutorial from Scott. So it all helped put everything kind of, tying it together for me, so. Well, I, I, and I don't, I don't mention this very much in any of the videos that I do, but since you guys brought it up, I'm going to click on the Caddy Notes tab here. Oh, let me. Um, oh, you, don't, you, don't have the, you don't have the game Caddy up, do you? Do you yeah, let me uh, switch yeah. it over. There we go. So, so, so I do mention, you know, the Game Caddy channel and the Game Caddy website where you can find out more stuff about the Game Caddy. But this is the thing I wanted to bring your attention to is the Caddy Notes tab down here. There's a summary of the most important app of Master Game Golf rules right on that tab and there's a place for you to add your own notes if you know there are things that you know, would help you remember the, the rules better and then there are some homebrew rules that are optional that are here in red uh, and it also gives you some information about how the game caddy in interprets cer certain situations so if you're not understanding what an absolute outcome is it's spelled out for you like right here what that what that means so anyway people forget about that tab the Caddy Notes tab. Check it out. Yeah, great, great tip there. I I often forget that myself. I 
damn, what do I do with this one? And I go to the rule book just by instincts. And you're right, I should use that resource because it's there for us. And you did such a great job with it. And, um, you know, thanks long, thanks a lot for bringing us along with your journey. And, uh, and it's been a lot of fun. So thank you. Hey, thank you to both of you for uh, agreeing yeah. to join me tonight to play out the end of this tournament. I, I, I've really had a lot of fun. Probably, this is maybe the most fun I've had playing um, the Apple Golf game in a long, long time. Yeah, I, I I always think just hanging out with some buds and playing, no matter what you're doing, is a lot better than doing it by yourself. Exactly. You get, what you, I mean. you get the camaraderie, yeah. you get the teasing, you get the yeah. oh good shot, you get the god damn it I hate you, and all <laughs> that in between. You know, uh, and that's what that's what makes it fun. And so, uh, and we got another whole another session to go, and who knows what's going to happen tomorrow. Yeah, that's and, right. Um, Candy one dice roller might go broken and. <laughs> uh, yeah. We look forward to uh, trying it out and, and bringing a conclusion to your awesome, awesome tournament. So, so uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I had a blast playing this. I can't wait to try and get back to tomorrow night. Tomorrow at seven o'clock, I might mention. Right, a little plug for us there. Yeah, and thanks to everybody that uh, that joined in too. Appreciate you um, taking the time to check this out. Yeah, and uh, yeah, check out the game canning over uh, as uh, we already listed and showed you there. And if you want to find out about the game canning, you can always uh, make a email to smolar9 at gmail.com. It's a free program. It doesn't charge anything for it. We're not here to solicit anything. We're just giving you information. You make a choice of what you want to do. I'm just telling you, it's one of the best resources that I've ever come across. I didn't know Scott from Adam, and I contacted him and said, hey, how do I help you, you know, get this information out to more people because it is so good. I want other people to know about it. And thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. All right. Um, tomorrow at 7. I'm looking forward hey. to uh, hopefully doing better and not embarrassing myself tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I was getting some practice rounds in and everything thinking I was getting a nod up on you guys. And then, oof, I don't know. It didn't do very good, did I? I don't know. All those dice. You, you, you did fine. You know, if you if you play the game and you don't break anything, you did just fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, for coming out tonight. We do appreciate Mac and Tim. And uh, let's see who else we had here. A bunch of different people popping in and out, asking questions and Slash Deep Gaming was here for a little while. And um, yeah, we just appreciate everyone coming by. Just uh, again, check out Dave's Gaming Cave, his wonderful channel. He does a lot of great stuff on his channel. Check out the Game Caddy over there. And uh, we appreciate you coming by tomorrow night, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until then, my friends, we'll see you all down the line. <laughs>